Hello. Hello. It's Megami fucking Tensei time. Uh, hello? Is this right? It has a, like, it will save. Yeah, that's right. So it's better to do it that way. You just do a save state for backup. Yeah. Oh, it's Friday. It's good Friday, in fact. What's so fucking good about it? I got half a day off. That's just good yeah, about it. Yeah, we slept most of the day. For real. I didn't know I was getting half a day off. Um, Somebody had mentioned to me... Uh, a couple days ago that they were getting half a day off, but I thought it was just one of our locations. But I found out today that we were all getting half a day off. So I, mean, I would hope you would since it's owned by a company. Yeah. I feel like they would want to give everybody the same shit. Yeah. So I uh, I worked until... 11. 11, 12-ish. It was 11 because I looked... Well, don't rat me out for quitting it eat an hour early when I already had a half day off, but it definitely did. Ah, oh, fuck. The button configuration's wrong, because it's goddamn... Oh, we need to go heal. Yeah. Let's go do that first. Wrong place. Yeah, I think you were getting a little frustrated last time we stopped, because you made it all the way to... Valhalla, which I read in a guide, you can explore, but you shouldn't. It's misleading. Like, you need to go through Valhalla to get to BN, which is that castle floating above it. No, that, I don't think that's right. Hang on. The point, the main thing you were getting mad about, though, is there's not a safe space in that other town. Yeah, because I look... We're in Daedalus, we've gone through Daedalus, we go over here. So we go into Valhalla, and yeah. there's a little city there. But then when you go down under the city into Valhalla proper, it's too difficult. Yeah. What we have to do is we have to go back to Daedalus and find a shield so that the guard in Valhalla will let us into BN, yeah. I think is the case. Yeah, that, that is the case. It's just, like I said, you have the option to go into that difficult dungeon under Valhalla. But it's, where it's not, we can't do that. Yeah, it's, like I'm saying, it's misleading because it's just open and you can do that. But if you do it, you're going to get wiped over and over and over again. Yeah. But yeah, I got half a day off, and I immediately went back to sleep for like three hours almost. It was I hadn't cool. gotten out of bed because I'm the scum of the earth. It was nice to just go back to sleep for a while. I was very sleepy. Okay. Just gotta remember. Something like that, yeah. Very strange. Yeah, I hate the way the map works in this game because it spins it around. in here, but they're only on certain sides of the wall, so it's very confusing. Like, do you need to go all the way down that hall? Maybe. Like, I remember it was a long corridor before you got to Valhalla, but a lot of this looks like long corridors, so... started. Now I'm back where I started. Yeah, because you need to go, like, in I, this orientation right now, is that, am I reading that right? Like, you need to go down two and then left three. Yeah, but that's, 
that just puts you into a different area. Because that's where you fight the Minotaur and won't let you go into that room anymore. Oh, okay. I need to get to that, um... Like, right here. I need to get over here. In this lower northern section. If this. you go back to the Minotaur room, could you back you, out? You can't go to the Minotaur room. Okay. It puts you in the room that it takes you immediately out. Oh, okay. It's very confusing. It's, it's this. The city won't fly since Medusa turned everyone to stone. Oh shit. I don't think we have one of these guys, do we? You, you don't. Well, it wouldn't. I don't know. They're, they're really weird about coming with you for some reason. Well, it may be that you're not high enough level yet. can't tell. It's just almost full. I don't know if it's waning or waxing. Beat cancer? You can talk to those now, too. I know, but I need to make sure I'm fighting every so often so I can get, keep my mag level up. Yeah, they inflict panic. That's what it is. It makes nothing. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Let's get out of here. So, I don't know. You may be right. Uh, yeah, I feel like they must not be... I, I don't understand. Like, maybe, like you said, maybe it is that they're too high level. Maybe after you get to a certain level, they can't do that anymore. But I don't know. I'm going to go this way. Look at this area. I haven't been in yet. There's nothing here. Still a part of the map on the opposite side of this wall we haven't been to either though. Oh man, Nakajima's still panicking. Never seen that last outside of battle. If it did, I didn't notice it. It just went away. It's probably some of the steps or something if it's outside of battle. Yeah. I don't know why I'm walking back here. We need to re-explore all of the Daedalus Tower, don't we? I guess so. Is 
so really this is a waste of time. I guess we could work our way back up. fire on these guys. I'm gonna try to escape. I don't like fighting these guys. They don't let you escape either though. I should just turn around, right? I'm really wasting my time. He could just reload. Ugh! Because I would say start at the top, honestly. I'm at least gonna go back to the elevator, go back up and heal, and then yeah, we'll start from the top. some dude who said somebody was in prison. Yeah, I I remember I feel I, I'm trying to rack my brain about the the NPCs we met through the tower because I feel like yeah somebody said something about somebody being imprisoned. I'm trying to think if anybody said anything about a goblin before that guard we talked to in Valhalla, but I'm not sure. Yeah, because I feel like you've encountered an enemy that looks like a goblin, but that's not what it's labeled as. Talking about the Jirai gnome? No, um... If you look at your devil analyzer, you will okay. recognize it. I can't remember what it was called. It's called like a... Something with a B. A boblin? Yeah. I mean, if you go to Valhalla, there's a dude who will just teleport you back to... Oh, Michael. shit. I forgot about that. I guess we should do that, huh? We should just wander around back and forth over and over and over until we run out of mag again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just really fuck myself over here. Hypnotist. Alright, let's go heal up, and then we'll start from the top. All will be good. said look at the devil analyzer bug not bug bug was that weird yeah that thing <laughs> boggle oh that does look like a little goblin motherfucker he reminds me of um the yattering from the yattering and jack uh. like i guess specifically the because that's a Clive Barker story, yeah. but there's an adaptation in Tales from the Dark Side. Is it Tales from the Dark Side or is it Monsters? I don't know. I don't know either. But there is an adaptation. They're virtually the same show. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, they're basically the same show. Right. 
I guess we'll just walk. Confuse demons, etc., etc. And yeah, you might as well fight these in me because they were the ones giving me the most mags. Yeah. Mags. an engine to make dungeon crawlers like this. Like, I love first-person dungeon crawlers. I mean... I don't know. His RPG maker is the top-down. Yeah, and I'm sure somebody's, like... I'm sure it's somebody who knows how to program could do it in RPG maker. But I certainly wouldn't know how. Negotiation is key. I think these are just brooms. Snakes, perhaps, yeah. <sighs> I was gonna ask you uh, what you've done today, but sleep. Yeah, like I, I got back in bed before you got up and made you s s s keep sleeping with me. <laughs> I was tired. Stay up too late. don't want to go that way. Do I? Yeah, I do, because I want to come up. Okay, so to get to the other half of this dungeon, you have to go down, and then you have to come up over there okay. on the eastern side. Yeah, I remember you saying that the levels are kind of split like that yeah. in some places. So we need to do that when we go down here. just want to try to make sure we cover all the ground, but... Yeah, because you know if there's one little square you don't walk into, that's gonna be Yeah, that'll be where the the motherfucker is. It's just because of the way the map is, it's kinda hard to like route yourself in a sensible way. Yeah. Like even with the auto mapping thing, like the, the Mipara spell, mm -hmm. it's like it rotates as well, so it's yeah. kinda pointless. Can you see other levels, or can you only see the one you're on? Uh, you can only see the one you're on. I figured. This area is pretty close off from everything else. That's about the Orb of Silence, which is how you get the elevator working again. Which you have, you gotta burn the Minotaur. Yeah, yeah, so that's all done. Ooh, treasure travel, oh, it's empty. Where you opened it? So that way is just down, so we need to turn around here. Um, that's... We've been in here. It's nothing. Go back 
that's up, so we go this way, the elevator's there, that's the, okay, so that goes up to the first level, to the other part of the first level, so we'll check in these rooms, wait, fuck, I should have read that, I didn't. They call, okay, so that's just like the demon classes you can and can't talk to. Something was hiding here. It's a torn up trash bag. Mm-hmm. What you feed your kids spaghetti off of? Yeah. Got that disease. Alright, so that's just a fairy. Yeah, that's the fairy that told you the Minotaur was directly below her. Yeah, her you're right, you're right. So our dialogue's changed now that you've defeated the Minotaur. Interesting. That's all that's here. Yeah, that's all that's on this side. So, okay, we can go back down and then we can go to the third floor. Or, not third, but the sixth. Fifth. Fifth floor. So there are two different staircases down on this floor, and you can access them both from this area. So I would assume that the, the fourth floor must be split in half as well. There's a room behind the stairs. Oh, 
just the elevator. Um, okay, we want to go straight. You haven't really been working on any art this week, have you? You've just been crocheting, I think. Yeah. But I mean, you finished a little project before. Yeah, I just wanted a break. But I've mostly been sleeping this week. It's been a sleepy kind of week. And all I can think about is plants. That's just a note about the moonlight. What kind of plants? I just all kinds. It's warm. Once it gets warm, I wish I owned every plant. You got that new fertilizer. It's uh, what, what kind of fertilizer is it? It's just seaweed. There's nothing special about it. It was just cheap, and there was a lot of it, and I needed more fertilizer. Like it's just made of seaweed? I, it's got other shit in it, but I think predominantly it's seaweed. Monstera variant. What makes it a variant? Uh, it's variegated. Uh, but, uh, like, a lot of the time variegated means that it's green and white, but this one is green and like a lime color almost. Yeah. It looks like my phylodendron Brazil. Hello, Greg and company. What up, Greg? How you doing? this way before? Yeah, I guess so. What are you up to, Greg? You still streaming Chrono Cross? Once again, Greg says, Glorious Gobstrike. Glorious Gobstrike. Is that something from Chrono Cross? I think so. Says it's his raiding war cry. It's from Radical Dreamers, which was that, uh... Like that visual novel? Yeah. Pretty cool. Shit, sorry. playing Chrono Cross, but it's slow going. That's RPGs, my friend. Yeah, that's true. We play RPGs because we do not value our time. I know, like, we're having to, like, backtrack through the whole first dungeon in this game now because there's allegedly a goblin we have to find and get a shield from to progress. Alleged goblins. This area is fucking weird.
Greg says alleged goblin was his nickname in high school. <laughs> Allegedly. Tiamat was really a goblin. I hit him, and he turned into a goblin. Uh oh. So Gar wants his shield back. Too late. I already threw it away. You can't reach it unless you beat Minotaur. Serves you right. The goblin... I... I beat the Minotaur. What the fuck does that mean? Maybe if you go back there, there will be something now. You just didn't have it. You didn't talk to the goblin before. I don't know. But you can't get the dialogue about the shield until you get past the Minotaur. So that doesn't make any sense. It's weird. I just need to go to the elevator then, I guess. Uh, I don't think I can actually get to the elevator from here. So I guess we'll just keep walking downstairs. Oh, these fucking ghosts. I don't like them. Oh, the, the cat girl is here. We should try to recruit her. Alright. We got her. I don't know what that guy means, but he says here above you. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. When you don't have an accurate depiction of all the floors at the same time, it's, I guess, difficult. 
when they refer to other floors to understand what exactly they're getting at. Yeah. I mean, you've been pretty thoroughly exploring as you descend, so I would assume you've seen it. It's also not a very clear clue, because, I mean, it could mean anything. I mean, he may have been pointing at the goblin. I don't know. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe, but maybe there's something else. Maybe you'll get all the way to the third place, and they'll be like, you have to go back to Daedalus and find my flute. Find my fucking flute. That's where I bought the minutes are. It just kicks me out of that room. You said you have to get past the Minotaur, so I don't know. Maybe it's just somewhere in all those fucking hallways. That certainly doesn't sound like fun. I mean, we, we fought him there, and he ran away, so, I, I mean, I guess so. I guess we just have to keep progressing through this first floor, and we've seen a big chunk of it already. Yeah, it's just one of those things where it's, you know, one block that you've missed somewhere on the map. I guess so. Well, it's not one that we could have missed. We may have missed there because he he wasn't there before. Yeah, yeah. It's just one place. Well, yeah, yeah. back through here. Nothing really. Okay. Like, I would assume if he says you have to get past the Minotaur, it would at least eliminate 
areas before. Yeah, but I'm but I'm after that now. Okay. So that, that's what I'm looking. Well, at. I'm just saying, at least you don't have to search that whole floor. Right, right. I just assume he's somewhere between where I am right now and the entrance to Valhalla. Yeah. Or I say he, but he said the shield was gotten rid of, so I guess maybe he left it somewhere? Yeah. I, I don't know. Why can't the dude just let you buy a shield? I don't know, yeah, I would just give you the money for yeah, a shield. Like I'd just go buy him one shit. Like there's only one speck of map that I haven't been to, so I guess I'll go there. Just as a first first attempt. Well, I mean, like you like you said, it could very well be an area you were in, you just didn't have it triggered. Yeah. so hard to parse. Oh, I think I've gone the wrong way entirely, actually. Wait, no. No, I just go straight. Man, when are we going to try wizardry on stream again? Yes, whenever you want. It's so punishing. It's, it's such a such a difficult RPG. It's not fun. <laughs> I mean, I think it's fun, but it's just real hard. Just a big mega grind. Also, like a little square all the way up there I haven't been to. How would I get to that? Okay, let's get the back over here. piece of undiscovered area. Oh man, it is a fucking maybe maybe I should go talk to him. Maybe, I really don't know. It's like if I go talk to the guard, maybe I could be like, hey I found the goblin at least, you know. Uh -huh. It's worth a try. I mean, it's already Yeah, like I'm right at the entrance, so
Valhalla. I think the guy is over here. This might be his brother. He's got like a brother. Please bring back my shield is all he says. Of course. underground prison who only have the rats for company. No idea what that means. That guy won't even talk to me. That's the brother guard. Um, we've already bought weapons and armor from this place. We've got the highest stuff we can get right now. Well, we're getting fucking loaded going through all this, so that's good. There's like all these doors that only go one way. Yeah, you were talking about that. Okay, I 
feel like maybe this area I haven't been through more than once, so... Which is zombies in out here. The only other thing I can think of is there's that other square of darkened rooms across from where you fight the server or the Minotaur. If I could check that out again, I, I, I don't really understand what the point of that area was. Yeah, I just don't have any idea. Because, like, I feel like that guy talking about the dude being in the underground prison must be alluding to whatever's under Valhalla City. Which, like you said, that was kind of difficult last time, but maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. I don't know. Like, I'm I'm pretty sure you're supposed to find the shield and give it to that dude, and then... Can you walk past that dude? What dude? The dude who's missing his shield. I don't think so. Okay, because I'm pretty sure you give him his shield and then he lets you in that area. And that's the area you're supposed to go to. He lets you in the upper area, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I understand that. It's just... I don't know where the shield is. Like, I've been through all the area now and I haven't found it. Nagajima has the same HP as the Cerberus now. They both have 104. I hope this means the next area is going to be uh, kind of simple. <laughs> what do you mean? Like you've just sort of unintentionally overleveled. Probably not. Probably going to get fucked. Jesus Christ.
it's like a 4x4 four four area. So if I go one step forward, walk there, <clears throat> turn north, I can walk there, turn and go east, I can walk there. There's nothing here. Fucking uh, tree guy is just boogieing. There's one spot of green on the map back there. I'm trying to get to that. I feel like I should go get in the elevator and go back up and heal now. Before this shit keeps happening and I need to actually perish. I mean, I wonder if you go back to where the dragon was, do you think it'll still be there? Do you think there's any further dialogue or do you think it's probably just, if it is still there, going to set some shit again? Huh? Like, you said where the dragon is, you hit it instead of giving it money, and it turned into that goblin, right? And yeah. you said, I don't have that shield anymore, I got rid of it, but you can't get it unless you get past the minotaur. And then it ran away. Okay. So, at first I was thinking it ran down here, but it may just be that it fucked off entirely, and you're supposed to, like, find wherever it stashed it. Yeah. It's unclear. It's, it's very vague. I don't understand, really.
All right, I'm headed back down. I'm just trying to think. I just don't have any ideas. Yeah, I don't either. <clears throat> you know, I'll look it up if you want me to. I know. To. I'd really rather not. I love little icons up there. Mm -hmm. These little little dudes with big feet. Yeah, they look like little cats. They got those pointy ears. Yeah. They look like that meme of the cat that's like standing up with yeah. its arms all bowed up. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's... I'm just gonna go back to Valhalla. See, he like kicks you out of the room, basically. Holy shit. Yeah, this I don't place think should be fighting this guy. This place just sucks, dude. it with fire. <laughs> Mochum! Thank you for subscribing. Oh, Mochum, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. Church says they like this pig guy. 
Yeah, he's got a good, uh, a good aura about him. Yeah, I don't think this is the place where we need to be right now. It's just a little too much of a grind, I feel like. Where the fuck is this guy's shield? I feel like I've talked to you all week, Mitchum. Probably. Jesus. Yeah, that's twenty-two. Um. God damn it! What floor was the the fucking goblin on? Three or four. Three. I think it was three. something ridiculous or something that you could figure out. All this says is to find Gary's shield. Use the working elevator back in the Tower of Daedalus to the third floor. That's all that one says. Okay. Well, that's what I just did, so... I wonder if you have to get past this guy again. Because there's junk in the next room. Yeah, it's in the next room. I guess I guess he literally tossed it into a pile of junk, but you can't get to this room without taking the elevator directly here. It may not be something that was even up your alley. It's just I, I know that you have like a, 
at least some interest in underground comics and it's it's one that really struck me like i i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed all of daniel klaus's eight ball i would highly recommend reading all of that that anthology series um if you can get your hands on it because it's all very good You found Gar's shield. So we've been in here multiple times. It's just this time. Yeah, you had that field. mission. I'm trying to think of what all is in Eight Ball because it's uh, it's got several ongoing series over the years. Because I mean, it's a an anthology solo book that Klaus published over the course of like two decades. And it's got like a velvet glove cast in iron. It's got um, it's got Dan Pussy, which is kind of a satirical uh, series about the comic book industry. Um, God, it's got another one that's really good. It's got Ice. Ice Haven, which is a very Lynchian mystery story. It's really good. That was like one of the last ones that ended the the whole publication. Oh, there's another one, and the name is escaping me. Another series that I really liked. I just I liked it, but it left them feeling a bit confused. In a good way, we'll have to read it again. Yeah, it's you know, it's definitely a little surreal. Um, and I don't think there are very clear answers, but I mean, it reminded me a lot of watching Eraserhead for the first time. But I think that's also because the the film aspect of of the story, like that plot line. Um, just makes me think of you know those sort of underground movies and their uh rep reputation their their mythology i guess Yeah, I like I said, I started reading fiction again this week. I haven't really read in a minute, not since last year, which makes me feel really bad, but I did start reading again, so that's good. Oh, young man, is that my shield? Thank you. In return, I'll open the path to be in. You're welcome as long as you don't tell Dor, which is his brother over there. All right, so we are in the end now. Butcher says they ended up buying a copy of Black Hole. They don't know what it's about. Oh, it's good. fuck. Dude. Charles Burns Black Hole is a fucking masterpiece. It is a fucking masterpiece. You will absolutely love it. If you like, uh, if you like Klaus and you end up liking, um, Charles Burns, you should read some, uh, Chester Brown. Um, it's another underground cartoonist. He's done... One of his more famous works is called Paying For It, which is 
sort of a, an autobiographical journal of his interactions with with prostitutes, because um, he's just like a really a really big proponent of of, of legalized prostitution. Um, it, it's really good, but it's not something that's specifically like up my alley in terms of content. He does a lot of historical and political comics these days, but his original stuff when he first started out was much more surreal. Um, the, the first series I ever read by him is called Underwater, and it's uh, a completely non-verbal comic about babies. Like, it's, it, it's like a, a comic series from the perspective of, a, of an infant. Um, and it's surreal and kind of horrifying. Um, and then, like, like Daniel Klaus had 8-balled, back in the day, just Chester Brown had a series called Yummy Fur, where he just, it was like his, you know, his solo outlet for, for different stuff. Um, and it's really cool too. I, I've never read all of it, but I, I do. I think I own all of Underwater in single issues. Actually, I've had it for a really long time. Two little street lamps here. Yeah. Ooh. That was called a Vai, which is like a Russian thing. Because, you know, there's that horror yeah. movie we watched recently, that Soviet horror film called Vai or V or whatever, however you pronounce it. Let's see how this goes. It's also not taking a lot of damage, so I guess I'm gonna have to bust out some magic on it. Just hope it doesn't work. Okay. Charles Burns, Chester Brown, Peter Bag. Is another really good uh, underground cartoonist. His stuff is more along the lines of Robert Crumb or uh, um, Don't forget to talk to some of these demons. See if you can recruit them. I guess I should. I do have a lot of mo. <laughs> like this you probably guy. can't get him. He's like spirit. Uh -oh. As much as I would love to have just a whole crew of these dudes. Jesus Christ. I don't like that one. Would you look up who wrote Injury the Comic Black River? Yeah, Josh Simmons, okay. It's the last recommendation I made, so I'm not just like throwing names at you all night, but Josh Simmons is also another really good indie cartoonist that's but he's he's much more contemporary than the others. Um there's a strange old man northeast of here. He asked me if I was going to fight Medusa, but what's that got to do with me? What? You want to meet him, you'll have to get here from the second floor. one of the guys like you have. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, Josh Simmons has a book called Black River, which uh, I would say is kind of like Cormac McCarthy's The Road. Um, and it's just as brutal as, as that novel and, and film, if you've ever watched or seen either. Um, it's really hard to read, so just warning about that. But Foul Megaplanaria. This is like a, a writhing... Flatworm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of them, huh? They look like green dicks. Wow. Ocho says they appreciate the recommendations, but also they haven't read or seen The Road, but they've read Blood Meridian, or part of Blood Meridian. I have read part of Blood Meridian. Um, Blood Meridian is so good. That's a lot of money, man. Blood Meridian is so good, but it is so fucking dense um, in terms of prose. Um, like, I feel like I feel like there's a little bit of pretense to Cormac McCarthy's not not to Cormac McCarthy, but to the way people will discuss Cormac McCarthy. Um, But I, I, I will say that a lot of it is probably warranted because he is a fucking behemoth of the written word. The Road is much, much easier to read than Blood Meridian. Though. I would, I would highly recommend reading The Road if you, if you liked what you read of Blood Meridian. The film is really good too. It's got me going it. So. I've also read uh, No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy, which is also a really good film. So I would highly recommend both of those. Uh, no Country is is pretty short, and it's it's a lot easier to read than Blood Meridian was. But like, yeah, Blood Meridian, you, you really have to set aside time that you can really fucking concentrate on it because it's on a different level than a lot of other stuff. We get out of here. Turn around and leave. I don't know how to do that. Do you not have a map? Yeah, but there's no exit. Like, they just, like, teleported me here from what I can tell. severely underread on Dunsany. Um, I have a couple of Dunsany volumes around somewhere. Uh, but, you know, he's incredibly important to 
the modern speculative canon in terms of his influence on people like H.P. Lovecraft. Like, we wouldn't have Lovecraft without Dunsany. Uh, so that's really important. I recently, uh, I listened to a podcast and every Christmas they do, one of the hosts does a ghost story reading and this past year's was uh, a Lord Dunsany story. I'm trying to remember if it was in a dark room or in a dim room. There's an elevator here, too, but guess what? <laughs> yeah, it's in a dark room. Is it good? Oh, it was fucking silly. Yeah. It, it made me <laughs> angry. <laughs> a lot of his stuff is... Like, not, like, legitimately angry, just like, oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Yeah, a lot of his stuff is, like, uh, I guess not satirical, but humorous, at least. Um, like, it reminded me of a story we read in, like, high school. Oh, yeah? Uh, by, what was that cat's name? Saki? Yeah. It had that sort of vibe, because it was specifically a story being told to children. Right, right, right. Um... I, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss here on how to how to survive because I mean you could summon people now and then just have a threshold where you'll dismiss them if mag gets to that point yeah because by that point maybe you'll have grinded enough to where they can handle themselves a little better because you have a good bit of money. It's just like set a place where you're going to be like, okay, once Mag gets to this point, I'm going to dismiss everyone but one. Right. I just... Yeah, I mean, I know further down the road you're going to run out of magic and everything. I mean, I'm out of magic now, pretty much. My, my problem is I don't know how to get out of here to heal. To replenish my magic, you know what yeah. I'm saying? started? Like, have you tried going back to that spot and seeing if it'll teleport you back? I think it was in here, maybe? I don't know. A pip. She might have had more offensive spells or something, but she doesn't. Well, I mean, if you're out of magic, it doesn't really matter. I guess so. What do they do? I think they heal you. I think they cure poison. I'll try one. Mm. 
Like, I thought this was maybe the room I had started in, but I'm not sure, but it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't look like it's gonna, like, teleport me back or anything. I just don't know how you're supposed to go through that many floors. I'm not sure either. Without a break. And, like, it, it teleported me to... Like, it says it's the first floor, but there's a floor under it. It's confusing. Yeah, so that this was one of the first areas I walked into, but... Like, I think maybe it put me here to begin with. Yeah, it does restore you to full health, so that's good. So I don't know if I just need to explore the whole floor or what. There's really only one area. Well, okay. So let's do this. I wish that jewel had restored my, my magic, but it did not. Hey everyone, go on through. Remember, not a word about the shield. What? What does that mean? Why are you here? Oh. Yeah, you're back in Valhalla. Okay. So you can leave? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. So, I go through here, it takes me to the first floor of, of BN, and then I can just go back. That was just a weird way to go. I don't understand, but whatever. We're good now. It just sucks that you have to go all the way back to that first town to save. It does. But I'm headed back there now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to avoid that. I feel like we do need one more monster. Um, and I'm wondering if we should maybe go try to make one. Oh yeah, you might as well see what you can. Because we've picked up a couple of more recruits. second Stolas, which is a low level dude. You probably want to fuse him with something. Level 17. Remember when you could make Thor? Oh yeah. Which, you, I mean, you can't. Because it was level 50. I don't want that. <laughs> 32. Holy best best at that's just a, a really powerful cat girl. <laughs> it's kind of looking like this holy Baku might be the thing to do, but like a lot of things are giving me that. And this is a better dwarf. Oh, but it doesn't make something very good. What happens if I combine the dwarf with cancer? Ooh. Wow, level 36 Naga. Okay. 
Uh, you think we should just do the bar here? Uh. Yes, so. I'm gonna do that and just see how it goes. What? The noises. I am Holy Baku. I am at your service. I wouldn't summon him until you get back there. Okay, right, yeah, good point. Save a little bit of the mag. Go save. It's not that bad of a walk back here, but it is kind of weird. I just don't see why you would put a town here and not put a safe spot there. Like, that seems stupid. Oh, I, I definitely agree. It's kind of dumb. Like, having not having a town there, I can see more easily than having a town but no save point. certainly annoying having to fight all these guys. Oh yeah, it always is. If you start reading, what are you going to read? Do you have something in mind? Uh... I was talking about reading short horror stories. Oh. From one of our millions of anthologies. I have a good number of anthologies. We are we are not at a loss for short fiction to read here. I am a huge fucking fan of the short story. It's probably my favorite uh, written form. Like there like honestly there's probably no more comforting in, uh, a pastime I have than reading short horror fiction. Like, like horror films are a really big comfort to me, but horror short horror stories are like the the, the ultimate comfort activity. I have a, a list that I made of some stories that I thought you might like. Yeah, um, I've read that. Some like best of the year volumes for the past couple of years. So I try to read those Ellen Datlow anthologies after she she does them every year. Okay, so are you familiar with Gahan Wilson? Oh yeah, yeah. Gahan Wilson um, shows up in a lot of the classic. Like I, 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 when I was a kid, I was really into reading. Um, and it's probably just because that's what I got my hands on at the time. But 
you know, from like thrift stores and stuff, but I was really into reading 80s horror anthologies, and Gahan Wilson shows up in a ton of those. Uh, but yeah, Gahan Wilson is a, a, a humorous cartoonist, but he did a lot of like gothic horror cartoons. Um, they're just also kind of funny. But he shows up in those anthologies a lot, like in uh, a couple you'd be familiar with, or like Prime Evil. He's in that a couple times. He also is. Um, let me think about it for a second. What am I trying to say? He designed the. What's it called? I can't remember what the award is called, but it's the Horror Writers Association's um, award. So, like, it's it, it, it it's a Poe. No, it's not. It's not a Poe. A Growling Poe award. That wouldn't make any sense. I can't remember what, what the award's called, but there there are a couple of horror fiction awards. The, the Stoker Award is the big one. And then there is the Edgar Allan Poe Award, and I, I am drawing a blank on what that looks like. But there's another one that the Horror Writers Association gives out, and the current physical award that you get is a, a sculpture of a tree with a, a harvest moon behind it. It's really nice. But from its inception up until, I want to say 2005, the award was a sculpture of H.P. Lovecraft, like a bust of H.P. Lovecraft that was designed by Gahan Wilson. Um, and there were a couple of writers who had known Lovecraft when they were young and hated it because it was such an ugly fucking rendition of Lovecraft. <laughs> and they got really upset about it. Um, and in fact, one guy, I'm fairly sure, I want to say it may have been Lynn Carter, but I'm not sure somebody rejected it on the grounds that it was uh it was mean-spirited toward their deceased friend you know uh -huh. um but in 2005 they discontinued it and redesigned it because of lovecraft's racism um Uh, Mojima says that they bought an uh, old book of short horror stories curated by him, and they bought it because they liked the cover. Uh, I love this cover, too. <laughs> yeah, don't don't get rid of that link. I'm going to look that up. <laughs> Some of my favorite horror anthologies um, are the Marvin K anthologies from... They probably came out in the late 70s and the 80s. There's three or four of them, but they were they have covers. Uh, by, I'm fairly I'm fairly sure some, there are some Gahan Wilson cartoons in them, but they have covers drawn by Edward Gorey, who is one of my favorite cartoonists and illustrators of all time. Um, so those are those are some really good books. I'm drawing a blank on what they're called, but what you have to have that statue. Yeah, it's a boss of statue somewhere on the vast second floor. Like you have to find it, or you cannot beat this dungeon. So. I'm on the second floor right now, but it looks like I have to go up and then back down or something. Yeah, it's probably going to be a real pain in the ass. That's the way it's feeling. So there's an elevator. We can't go into it. I'm going to go ahead and summon this other guy. What is, do you know what Mediyama does? Um, it's a higher level healing spell. Okay. It's got a lot of magic, huh? Yeah, you just have it on healing duty when it's not attacking. Yeah. Guess we're gonna see how hard it can hit. I wasn't even paying attention. I was thinking about horror writers. 
Yeah, it does like 17 damage per hit. It's not bad against these guys, I guess. Gang of cat girls. My worst fear. <laughs> Yumiko sees a gang of cat girls and goes into a panic. The sapphic moments here. Oh, actually, Mediyama heals everybody, so that's also good. Alright, that's the elevator. Which doesn't work. Does not work currently. So yeah, probably gotta beat Medusa. This, uh, this little Baku dude is doing some good damage, but he's definitely an asset. that I have and, and write down some of my favorite horror stories because I have trouble remembering them sometimes. A lot of them I read when I was a kid, you know? Because there's always that fucking one or Orson Scott card story that I can never remember the name of. You know what I'm talking about? Which one? Like, what happened to that? Um, it's about a guy who's plagued by... Creatures. The amenities one? Yes. It's amenities on the something forward, is it? Yeah. Is it humanities there? Is it Euripides? Euripides. Humanities. I, I don't know. Euripides trousers, humanities trousers? Yeah. 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 I just know it's Orson Stock card. 
Fuck Horseshoe Scott card, by the way. I know. He's a piece of shit. Ginger's game is pretty good, and that story is pretty good. I don't have any goddamn idea how to spell humanities. Just Google Scott Card on the second floor lavatory, or in the second floor lavatory. Because it's something in the second floor lavatory, I'm 80% sure. Humanities. It's the Humanities in the Fourth Floor Lavatory by Orson Scott Card. Where was that first published? Go to um, Google that plus ISFDB. It'll take you to the, inter the, internet, the Internet Speculative Fiction Database and it'll tell you where it was first published. I'm sorry, what was it? Uh, ISFDB. Oh, my magic users got paralyzed. Um, this is bad. Paralyzed? You sh well, I guess both of them have it. Chrysalis number four. Scroll down. Chrysalis number four is where it was first published. I read it first in Masterpieces of the Terror and, and the Supernatural. Fuck. Masterpieces of Terror and the Supernatural, which is a Marvin K anthology from the 80s, and it's one of the ones that I was talking about that has the Edward Gorey covers. Um, very, very good anthology. And that's a particularly upsetting story. Like it, it deals with children and stuff, so it's pretty upsetting, just FYI. This entire palace is infused with Lucifer's magic. Things may not be as they seem. Well, that's fucking fantastic. Hey, are you guys gonna unparalyze? That'd be really good. You can do that for me. Yeah, like, they're the ones who have the, uh, or Yumiko has a spell that will cure paralysis, but yeah. obviously she's paralyzed, so she can't use it. I'm pretty sure she does. I don't know if Paralyze and Petrify are two different things in this or not. Foul Medusa Shadow. Oh, I feel like I'm fucked here. Please don't die, you go. Cerberus has a spell to resurrect. Yeah, it just doesn't work sometimes, you know? Yeah. Holy shit. You just did 22 damage to you, go. Hey, this is horse shit. Why is this happening? Probably because it's Medusa. Well, it's not THE Medusa. How the fuck do I get unparalyzed? Like, it's not going away. Like, well, I guess he's unparalyzed now because she's fucking dead, but... I think that's probably going to be it for the night. This place is going to take a grind, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it takes half my money, right? Yeah, we're, we're just going to reload from the last time we, we saved. So, um, that's going to be it for the night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. All right. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Good to see you, Moochum. Uh, we will be back Monday with Bayonetta 2. Are you not going to play too, Nick? Probably not. Okay. Probably just going to read tomorrow. 
Um, I guess that's it. I guess there's nothing out of the ordinary going on. So, uh, if if anybody can, be sure to be there for Tirith's stream on Sunday. Yesterday, she went and got a parking lot pizza. Or she, she went to find a pizza that had been abandoned in a parking lot, but it was gone. Somebody took it before she could get back to it. So I think Sunday she's going to go around and post fly, missing pizza flyers. <laughs> so it should be a good time. So everybody come hang out with Tirith Sunday. Bye! Bye!